teal and orange. It's easily one of the most popular cinematic color grading looks and it's also incredibly simple to do. My goal for this video is to make it the fastest and easiest teal and orange color grading tutorial for Final Cut Pro on YouTube and I'm going to throw in two quick bonus tips at the end so stick around for that. So why is teal and orange so popular? Well teal and orange are complementary colors meaning they are opposites on the color wheel. One reason why the teal and orange look works so well is because our skin tones lie in the orange part of the spectrum. So you can achieve great color contrast by adding some teal into the shot and enhancing the orange which you can find in the skin tones in your color grade. This is a popular color grade that is used in a lot of films and that's why it's often referred to as a cinematic color grade or a cinematic look. I've got this shot here of a post-apocalyptic woman and I'll hit command 7 to open up my video scopes. I have the view set to this 2-up display and I have the vector scope on this side and I make sure that my skin tone indicator line is visible and then on this side I have my Luma waveform. I'll hit command 6 to open up my color inspector and I'll add a color wheels adjustment to this clip. The first thing I'm going to do is add a color mask and I'll click and drag to select her skin. You can hold down shift to add more of the skin tone to the selection if you need to. You can click on view masks over here to get a better look at the selection that you've made. I'll click on view masks again to hide the mask view and I want to affect everything outside of the mask I just created. So I'll select outside over here and I'll go over to my global color wheel and I'll pull this color puck towards teal. You can add more teal into the shot by moving the puck further away from the center. I'll go back to my inside mask so that I can affect her skin tone and I'll push the global puck more towards orange just to emphasize that orange color. To make sure you keep your skin tones accurate, when you add orange, make sure you keep the skin tone on the skin tone indicator line. Lastly, you can see in the shadows that we have a lot of teal and even the areas that should be pure black look like they have some sort of teal wash over them. You can fix that by adding a hue saturation curves adjustment and then scroll down to the luma versus saturation curve and we're going to desaturate the black areas by adding a point over here and dropping the pure black values to totally desaturate them. I'll move this up and down here so you can see the difference that it makes in the dark areas of the shot but also look at the luma waveform. Notice how you have this teal color in the shadows and the black areas and as I move the saturation down I'm removing teal from the darkest parts of the shot. And that's all there is to it a color wheels adjustment with a mask and a hue saturation curves adjustment to clean up the black areas in the shot. Before we get into those two bonus tips, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Envato Elements. I got the stock footage that I used for this video from Envato Elements, which is a platform for creators that has over 55 million assets, including stock footage, motion graphics templates, graphic design templates, fonts, photos, sound effects, and so much more. I love using Envato Elements for my own videos here on YouTube, but more importantly, for videos for my clients. It's such a worthwhile investment if you need any of these kinds of creative assets, which let's face it, we all do as video editors. If you'd like to try it out for yourself, use the link in the description down below and you'll get 50% off an annual subscription, which gives you access to everything for less than $20 per month. So the first of two bonus tips that I have for you is to save what we've done here as a preset. You can do that by clicking on the save effects preset button at the bottom of the inspector window and I'll rename it to teal and orange and I'll add that to my color category. Now when you want to add this look to another shot you can just find that preset in your effects browser and drop it onto another clip. I'll drop it onto this clip of someone with a darker skin tone to show you that it also works with darker skin tones. Once applied simply head over to the color mask on the color wheels adjustment and select that person's skin tone. You can tweak the inside and the outside global colors if you need to and just like that you have a teal and orange look. The second tip is to use this preset to create alternate looks. You might have noticed in some Hollywood movies that they have this really cool cinematic green and orange sort of color grade and you can use the same preset to create a look like that really quickly. Using this clip for example I'll apply the teal and orange preset we created and I'll adjust the color mask by selecting the skin tone. That's an important step to make sure that the color grading we do is applied to the correct parts of the shot. Then head over to your outside mask and pull the global puck more towards a green color. Just like that you have a totally new look and you can play around with these colors as much as you like to create your own unique looks. 
If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy this color grading breakdown video where I go through my six step process of color grading from start to finish.